Got my favorite baby mama get up on today. Y'all know I love this fucking thing. It's so comfy. For not for my new moms. You can't see my whole outfit. But it's a onesie, basically. And it's been a lifesaver. <laughs> Kool-Aid has been real good lately. I ain't gonna stop with you. It's just real good. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is B King the Goat. <laughs> Obviously. So today I just want to come on here and do a quick little chit chat about my online baby shower. I have been talking about it for like the past couple of weeks. If you watched my my intro, I think it was intro to nesting video, I kind of briefly touched on me doing a online baby shower. I didn't go full into detail, but if you did watch that video, then you would know that I have my Amazon link. Um, for my registry um, in that description box. I don't know why I'm saying um so much. It's kind of hard to think nowadays. Anyway, uh, oh, new hair, who this? It be itching a little bit. This is a um, custom made unit from Carbon Couture. These, these are kinky extensions. Um, I will also put the, the um, damn, I can't talk today. <laughs> I will also put that information down in the description box about this hair. Uh, it is <laughs> flawless, bitch. Instagram another flawless pic. Okay, this is getting a little stretched out. I've been wearing it way too much. I decided to get this hair because I did my maternity shoot the other day and I just wanted something different. We were gonna do ponytails, like two um, low ponytails real long. Then I, I went to the salon and I saw this wig and I was like, and my cousin was like, let's just try it and see. So this is what we ended up going with and I'm really, really glad that we did. So anyway, a lot of people that I've been talking to are like, what the fuck is a online baby shop? And I was the same way. I, I didn't know what the fuck an online baby shower was either until I was at my homegirl house and I was just telling her like, I don't want to be stressed out from trying to put no damn baby shower together. I don't waste too much time. Like, it was just like so much going on where I was just like, I don't even know if I want to have a baby shower. Like, I don't know if I even want to do that. Which is crazy because it's like, especially with unexpected pregnancies, you don't really, I mean, from the jump it was unexpected. So nothing goes as planned, ever. I don't think anything ever goes as planned in life, but ex especially when it's an unexpected pregnancy. So of course in the beginning, um, and if I would've kept that same energy, I probably would've had a baby shower. But in the beginning, um, I was like, oh, Boston Kiki, hey boo. In the beginning, I was just kinda like, okay, I'm gonna have this large ass baby shower. It's gonna be lavish as fuck, cause I'm a lavish ass bitch. And I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that, and blah, 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 whatever. And then it was just like, so much going on in my life at the time and surrounding the pregnancy where I was just like, listen, I got too much going on. I got too much going on. Like I had so much going on that I didn't even realize how fast time was going. And then I think what happened was I like, forgot how many weeks I was. <laughs> I think I'm not the only person that does that, but I forgot how many weeks I was, and um, I went to go check my baby center app, which for my new mommies, um, mommies in general, I would definitely suggest you get in the baby center app. There's some really, really good articles on there that you can read, um, what to do, what not to do, what to eat, what not to eat, um, and it'll help you remember how many weeks you are. <laughs> so, uh, got on there, and not only do they tell you how many weeks you are, but they'll tell you how many days you got left into your due date. And I think at the time when I saw it, I think it said like 97 days or something. And I was like, bitch, that's like a job pro uh, probation. Like, that's like a 90 day probation, bitch. Like, I'm not gonna stress myself. That was like the moment where I, I, I slick was like, I'm gonna have a damn baby. Like, I think I knew I was having a baby the whole time, obviously. But like when I saw 97 days left to due date, on top of knowing that babies come when they want to come, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have a baby like tomorrow. Okay, I'm not gonna stress.
stress myself out over a baby shower. So uh, I took my friend's idea into consideration and she said her friend did it before and it was, you know, successful and all that type of stuff. So I was like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an online baby shower. So um, I just didn't wanna stress myself out even more, you know what I'm saying? Then I was already, like I, like, I hate getting overwhelmed. Like, I have anxiety. So, when I saw 97 Days, I was like, oh, hell no. Like, I just, I get so anxious where I just have to just, like, stop everything. So, um, I'm hoping that I don't regret doing an online baby shower because my cousin was like, bitch, I'm throwing you a baby shower. What the fuck are you talking about? And I was like, no. <laughs> I don't want one. And then right after her, my mom was like, I'm gonna throw you a baby shower, don't worry about it. I'm like, I literally just said, <laughs> I do not want a baby shower. I don't wanna do that. Like, I don't wanna have no, like, I just, listen. <laughs> listen, and then it was just like, majority of my close friends that I'm like, that's my dog. Don't even live here. And of course they were all like, Candace, you know I was gonna pull up for that baby shower. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but like, no. <laughs> you can just send some stuff from Boston and I will be A-okay. Like, that's literally all I want. I just want Boston to feel loved and have nice things. Obviously my friends are gonna see Boston because they're my friends. <laughs> um, so I was just like, dude, I'm gonna set up this online baby shower thingy, get this thing popping, um, get some links and stuff, post it, and those that support me and support this pregnancy in Boston will send things to me. And um, I just feel like that's all I can really ask for. He is really kicking right now. Maybe, maybe it's the Kool-Aid. <laughs> so I was just like, listen, those that Really support me, support Boston, support this pregnancy, um, and just support and respect my decision to not do it. I'm gonna send me stuff for Boston. Uh, some of my friends have already started to send stuff for Boston. I just haven't gotten it yet. Um, and I also, since I've told them about my link, Cause I told them first, like my closest friends before I made a video, Ooh, shut up. Anyway, so yeah, I just had an Amazon link at the time, but then come to find out that some of my friends don't like Amazon. Didn't know, had no idea. So um, I went ahead and I created two more registries and all of my registry links will be down below in the description box. I have an Amazon registry, a baby list, registry which is really awesome because you can you could be anywhere on any website and send me something that on baby list so I think that's really cool um, also I have a Target registry which actually I went to Target today and for my new mommies if you set up a Target registry and even if you don't but you didn't hear that from me you can get a sample bag so you'll just go to get services in Target and tell them that you uh, set up a baby registry online and that you're here to get your sample bag and they're just gonna hand it on over to you just like bloop. Um, they don't even ask for ID or if you even set up a registry, none of that. So, I mean, honestly, you can really take advantage if you want to. I'm not saying that I've done it yet, <laughs> but I'm thinking about it. I just want to show you guys real quick what came in the sample bag before I move on to what you'll get from Amazon and Babylist, which I haven't gotten yet. I haven't done it yet. So, uh -oh. so Pamper Swaddlers. I haven't opened this yet. I'm assuming that there's just one in there. Maybe I should just open it. How about we just knock it on out, huh? So, in this bag comes white. I don't know if that's like clear or not. Um, but Pampers wipes, hypoallergenic um, laundry detergent, Draft, recommended by Pampers. I heard a lot of good things about Draft though. 
So that'll definitely be nice to try. I watch tons of YouTube videos on um, new mommies because I am a first time mom and I just wanna know what the fuck I'm doing, sis. There is a pamper in the bag. Shit is just getting so real. Oh, and you do have um, a little coupon book in here as well. So that's that. Got this, diapers, Target brand up and up. For a seventh generation, they have a small little coupon pamphlet. So I'll probably use that because I've heard some good things about them too. I see myself using Baby Genix. I really want to try it. I've been reading a lot of stuff about it and I heard it was really, really good. This just comes with like a moisturizing daily lotion, like a little small sample of it. So I'll definitely see how my baby takes to it. Um, but I definitely, definitely want to try this brand, so. A little flyer talking about breast pumping, which I will be breastfeeding, by the way. Um, comes with a newborn pacifier, which I'm kind of skeptical of using pacifiers because I am breastfeeding and I just, I don't want to confuse my baby. So, I don't know what brand that is, but I read a specific brand that is like very, very similar to the, the nipple, because I just don't want him to get like nipple confusion and we have a hard time like trying to breastfeed. And this is just a book of coupons with Target. I think for you and your baby, honestly. Yeah. Then it comes with a Dr. Brown's, um, I just wanna say water bottle, Lord. I'm gonna be thirsty again. Baby bottle. I didn't really, I see, I, I see this brand a lot. I haven't really read how people feel about it though, so I guess I'll have to do my research. But it's always nice to have a free bottle for sure. Then you have this for stretch marks. Um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter, which I use their, um, is that even like, anyway, I use their, um, their lotion, anyway, and this will probably be really good to just pop in my little hospital bag, which I will be doing a video on that too, pop in my hospital bag for after I have him, because they say like, if you are going to get stretch marks, because I know sometimes it is hereditary, but if you do get stretch marks, they'll pop up after you have your baby, and bitch, I'm trying to be fine, you dig? So, I'm going to try this, but I'm also going to get some other stuff too for stretch marks. I like almond oil, so yeah. So, in, in this uh, Lansano bag, there is two disposable nursing pads and two breast milk storage bags which anything helps. So I know this will be cool. I'm thinking about getting the Lansano um, breast pumping system. Comment below if you guys have tried the Lansano, because I also saw something else that was a little bit cheaper, but it was still like an electric pump. So I don't know. I've been reading a lot about this, so that's why I want to do it, but it is like, I think it's like $170. So I don't know, it's a little, What is this aqua for? Healing ointment. So I know I've been seeing a lot of people say that their baby had like eczema or like dry skin or some type of like rash. So that might be really good to just try. I don't think I had eczema. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's hereditary as well. Then this is the Avino baby, which definitely, um, I definitely want to have a line of Avino Baby and Johnson and Johnson. So this is just lotion. And then um, the Honest Brand diaper. Is it two diapers in there? I think it's a diaper in there and then some wipes. Oh, two, di two diapers and 10 wipes. So I think that's a pretty good sample bag, to be honest. Um, the one for Amazon looks super fucking dope. There's um, a few things that you have to do to get it, but it's really not much. So I will be doing that soon. And I'll probably do a video on 
my sample bag that I get from Amazon and Babyliss. Babyliss, you literally only have to spend like $5 to get your sample bag, which is nothing because they actually credit you $5 towards like purchasing something from Babyliss. So it's kind of like you're not even spending it, but you are, you know, in a way. I didn't really plan to go through my sample bag, but here we are. Um, I guess my other one will be my baby list in Amazon registry. Don't text me. So, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I will have all of my baby registry links in the description box below. Anything is appreciated. Like I always tell people, especially diapers. Uh, people know that diapers are kind of expensive. So I do have things in my registry list that you can look through that you may feel like, okay, I'll do this. This isn't too pricey. Or even if you don't see it in my registry list and you want to get it for me, do that. I am a new mom. I'm a first time mom. So I don't know exactly everything that I may need or it may just slip my mind. I watch a lot of videos, but a lot of things slip my mind. So if you guys see something in the registry list that you want to get me or if you don't see something that you feel that I need, please, please, please send it to me. I decided to reveal the gifts that were sent to me on YouTube as a video. I didn't want to do it as live because live looks a little funny to me. So I'm going to do it as a YouTube video and I'm just going to showcase all the things that Boston has gotten. Um, and then after I do that first initial video, which I think originally I had it set for July 13th, but I think I'm going to set it for July 23rd, but it will be like mid July when I do my first reveal and then I'll do an update reveal on the gifts that have come in late. Um, just because you know, people send things when they can, which I am not pressuring or rushing anybody. I was kind of iffy about doing an online baby shower because I don't want to seem gift grabby. Um, but people know I have, I, I'm in good spirits. I have a good heart. I'm not trying to just like jug people out of gifts. Uh, but it is, oh my gosh, honey. It is, um, it, it would be nice to receive some things for Boston because we definitely need it. And um, honestly, I just can't wait. I'm excited. So, <sighs> he is moving so much right now. He must feel my energy right now. I really am excited about having Boston. He is like a game changer for me. <laughs> but we'll get into that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video on my online baby shower, why I wanted to do it, how I plan to do it, and um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think I've said everything that I needed to say, to be honest. Am I missing anything? All gifts are appreciated. I think that I think I said that though. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely cannot wait to receive some things from you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you've used the Lance and Oak uh, breast pumping system, because I really want to know, like, is it really worth the $170? Because if it is, then I'm going to get it. You know what I'm saying? But if there is a cheaper brand that works just as good, please, please, please let me know. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. It is Viking the Goat, like I said, obviously. And um, I will see you guys in my next video.